welcome to holy immaculate english you know for the last two videos we have been discussing on the most important topic direct and indirect speech in the beginning i have explained the rules of direct and indirect speech how to change direct speech sentences into indirect speech and in the second video i have started explaining simple present and simple future sentences for each of the rules i am giving in detail with more and more instances so that you will have good concept on each of the rules today our topic is indefinite present indefinite and present continuous present perfect in this video to the most extent i will try to explain present indefinite and present continuous let us see if i give more and more examples for each of the rules you will have good idea that is why i want to give in detail on each of the models more useful for all the computer examinations and also for tet and dsc students you know you surely expect some of the bits from this model let us see let us concentrate more on this examples before going to the actual lesson please like and subscribe and if you deem it useful please share it to your friends and your kith and kin let's go into topic see here first observe the sentences in what tense they are heading present indefinite and continuous on this topic we will discuss today if you observe the first sentence you will have some idea raj said i am going to the market now you may think this is not in indefinite have you got idea or not to make you have an idea i have written first one tense what is that present continuous the remaining all sentences are present indefinite afterwards i will dis we will discuss regarding present continuous now let us see raj said i am going to the market now the action is going on this is present continuous the remaining are present indefinite he said i am tired a statement i said to her i don't know how to swim navin said to kamal i am unwell now lata said i eat an apple the teacher said to ravi you are a mischievous boy you don't find any continuous action in this these are called present indefinite i know her address said govind she said to him i don't believe you these are all present indefinite sentences let us see how to change the direct speech sentence into indirect before changing direct speech sentence into indirect speech i have already told you in the previous video that raj said in this reported verb is said what is the reported verb said is a reported verb in previous video in present simple present and also simple future reported verb is a simple present with a says says to tells so the tense of the reported verb reported speech didn't was not changed it was not changed we have not changed the tense of the in uh, reported speech here we need to change why i will, I will tell when there is a reported verb said or said to we need to change the in one the sentences given in the inverted commas or the sentences given in the reported speech here raj raj is a reporter he is reporting his actual words are given here within inverted commas these are within inverted commas so this is reported speech said by raj this is reported verb said is reported verb now reporter reported verb reported speech to remove this comma and quotations we write conjunction and then if it is present continuous we change it to past continuous we will learn in next topic first it is all simple present simple present will be changed into simple past for let us see this sentence we will change into sim, uh, present continuous into past continuous the remaining sentences will change into simple past raj said right as it is raj said i refers to raj so i subject refers to person raj here so what will be the subject here raj said that after conjunction that he will come that he 
we have removed we have removed comma and inverted commas that is why we have added that raj said that i am going to the market now this is in present continuous only this sentence is in present continuous i have already told you i will continue next present continuous sentences these are all i am discussing more about present indefinite first let me explain this raj said that i am going to the market now that means i appropriate verb is am for he appropriate, appropriate verb will be is he is present continuous action i am going to the market now it will be changed into uh, as per our rule past continuous because the reported verb is in past tense raj said that he is he was going to present continuous will be changed into past continuous that he was for i am is here for when he is there past continuous was must come so he said that he was going to the market going to the market look here as per our time and place rule we have to change now into then now will be changed into then raj said that he was going to the market then Prese what have done here present continuous is changed into past continuous i refers to raj that is why i subject place raj is there so raj in that place we have to write he third person subject he raj said that he i am going means that he was going that he was going to the market now we change into then now the remaining sentences are in present indefinite let us see how to change he said i am tired i refers to he right he said as it is remove comma and inverted commas we have to add that conjunction he said that now what does that uh, reported speech say tell us i am tired i am tired who said that the reporter he who said the reporter said i am tired the actual words of the reporter he so when it is simple present change into simple past as per our rule he said that i refers to he write he and yam will be changed into for he we have to write was simple present is changed into simple past he said that he was tired and when we go on doing the remaining sentences of the same model same pattern you will have good idea that is why i have given of the same type i said to her i don't know how to swim this is also present indefinite the sentences given in the reported speech are present indefinite or change into simple past here i said to her see the reported verb said to when it is said there is no change we have to write as it is when there is a change when there is a said to when to is added to said it should be changed i sometimes as a told sometimes as asked i said to her i don't know how to swim it is a statement it didn't ask here i didn't ask her so said to will be changed to told i told her i told her what did i tell her my actual words are i don't know how to swim i don't know how to swim here subject i there is no change at all i told her that i you should be written as it is i told her that i don't know how to swim here for i do is there past tense for i did must come i told her that i didn't i didn't know i didn't know how to swim just what change we have made here let us see i said to her reported verb said to is here when it is said to sometimes if it is a asking question type then we have to write asked it is a statement saying i said to her these are my actual words i said to her said to will be changed to told i told her and we have removed comma and inverted commas we added the conjunction that i told her that i don't know same i refers to i we have written i again i don't know will be changed to didn't know don't know didn't know i didn't know how to swim next navin said to kamal i am unwell now here who said navin said to whom to kamal what did he say i am unwell now 
the sentences given in the inverted commas in the reported speech are said by the reporter Naveen, but not Kamal. The, said by Naveen to whom? To Kamal. Who is object here? Kamal. Naveen said, what did he say? I am unwell now. Let us see, said to, here also said to. Did he ask her to tell? He will tell. So, here past tense who have to write, said will be told. Naveen told Kamal. Naveen told Kamal, let us remove comma and invert commas, that, add that, that I refers to Naveen. Here I subject refers to Naveen. So, what will be the subject here? Third person, he. Naveen told Kamal that he, what did he say? I am unwell now. It is in simple present, what is change into simple past. That he was. I am for that we have to write was. For I simple present verb am for he was. For he we have to write was. We change into simple past. Naveen told Kamal that he was unwell. And let us see here. Now, now we will be changed into as per our rule. Then, like this, we have changed the sentence from direct speech to indirect speech. What is the reported verb here? Said to. What is the who is the reporter? Kamal or Naveen? Naveen is the reporter. What is the reported speech given here? I am unwell now. I am unwell now. These are the reporting matter of the reporter. We, it is in within inverted column commas, we call it reported speech. We change into indirect speech now. Naveen told Kamal that he was unwell. Now, we change into then. Next, Lata said, I eat an apple. I eat an apple. Lata said, there is no two here. Write it as it is. Lata said that we remove comma and within inverted commas. So, I did a conjunction that Lata said that I eat any apple. It is an habitual action of a Lata eating apple daily. So, I eat, I first person. So, it is here the verb is in plain base, base verb eat. Now, we have to write into write, we have to write the sentence reported speech into past, simple past. It is in simple present, but write in simple past. Lata said that I refers to Lata means he, she, she here, she ate, eat, ate, v2, v1 is changed into v2, she ate an apple, she ate an apple. Here, when it is, when reported verb is in simple present, we should not have changed it. We have, should have written it as it is. But here, the reported verb is in past tense. As per this reported verb, yeah, we have to change the reported speech also. So, it is changed into simple past. Lata said that she ate an apple. The teacher said to Ravi, you are a mischievous boy. Who said? Teacher said. To whom? To Ravi. What did, he, what did the teacher say? What were the actual words of uh, the teacher? You are a mischievous boy. You are a mischievous boy. Let us see. Here, said to is there. Here, the teacher told Ravi. Did he ask the Ravi or did he tell? He told. The teacher told Ravi. The teacher told Ravi that you, you refers to Ravi or the teacher? You refers to object Ravi only. The teacher said to Ravi, what did he say? You are a mischievous boy. Who is a mischievous boy? Ravi was a mischievous boy. So, the teacher told Ravi that, Ravi means in, in, in changing into inner speech, we have to write third person, he. What is the subject here? He. That he, you are present tense, change to past tense, he was a mischievous boy. Full stop. So, here the teacher told Ravi that he was a mischievous boy. This you refers to Ravi. So, in that place we have written he. Next. I know her address. I know her address, said Govin. Sometimes the reported verb will be after inverted commas that said. Even then, we have to bring it forefront. Who said here? 
whose actual words are here in the reported speech govin's actual words are there what are they i know her address said govin govin said that i this i know i refers to govind so he govind said that he i know simple present change into simple past that he knew no knew v1 is here no v1 we have to change into v2 knew no knew he knew her address is her doesn't change here next she said to him i don't believe you i don't believe you she said to him what did he she say i don't believe you these are the actual words of the speaker she reporter reporter reported verb and a reported speech now said to again we change into told she told him remove comma and inverted commas add that that i don't believe you i refers to she but not him it is object i refers to the subject she she told him that right she third person again right she as it is that she don't believe means didn't believe did we have to change into simple past that she didn't believe didn't believe look here you you refers to object him you refers to object him here it should change into she said to him i don't believe you she told him that she didn't believe it is in object place no change as per our rule write it as it is him so she told him that she didn't believe him she said to him i don't believe you you refers to object him so it is not changed him write it as it is she told him that she didn't believe him in this way today i have told i have we have discussed uh, I, uh, present indefinite sentence sentences now let us continue on present continuous let us see these sentences these are present continuous we are going to change from direct to indirect speech the student said we are going to uti on a picnic the student said we are going to uti on a picnic now we we refers to the student and his team how to write present continuous will be changed into past continuous the student said that the student said that we means the student and his team so they that they were going to uti that they were going to uti on a picnic next i told you are not preparing well for examination i told you are not preparing you refers to some object is not here that means it should be understood i told him i told him so i told that you refers to him him will be in the subject part he i told him that he you are not you are not preparing well that means he was not preparing well that he was not preparing well for exam next ratan said i am playing here in this room ratan said i i refers to ratan what did he say i am playing here that means he was that he was playing here refers to it be changed to there this room that room the two changes will be made here ratan said ratan said that he was playing he was playing here refers to there will be changed to there there in this room in that room in that room komali said to kavita we are participating in chess tomorrow it is also should be changed into past continuous komali said to kavita here said to we change into told komali komali told kavita that we we refers to komali and her team that it will be changed into third person they that they were going were participating were participating waiting in chess in chess tomorrow 
means it will be changing to the next day. Tomorrow will be changing to the next day. The next day. Next day. Sarala said to me, I am preparing food for my friends. Sarala said to me, Sarala told, said to me, be changing to told. Sarala told me that we have to remove comma and the inverted commas that is why we have to add conjunction that that I I refers to whom Sarala that she third person she I refers to Sarala so Sarala this in the third person will be subject she she was preparing she was preparing food for my friends my will be changed into her her friends next. Lata said, I am staying here tonight. I am staying here tonight. Lata said, write it as it is, that I refers to Lata. So, we have to write third person, she, that she was staying, present continuous is changing to past continuous, that she was staying here, here will be changing to there, there tonight that night. So, Lata said I am staying here tonight. It is changing. How, how, how is it changed? Lata said that she was staying there. Here is changing to there. Tonight is changing to that night. I refers to Lata that is why we have written third person here subject she. Present continuous is changing to past continuous. Ravi said I am expecting my group one result today. Ravi said that I refers to Ravi. So, we have to write he that he was that he was expecting that he was expecting my my refers to his whose Ravi says. So, his group his group 1 result when today today change into that day today will be changing to that day that day like this today in this video we have discussed sentences on present indefinite and present continuous changes how to change from there to ended speech. I hope you have understood. Now, let us discuss sentences on present perfect. So far, we have discussed sentences on present indefinite, present continuous and now we are going to discuss sentences on present perfect. It is very simple. When it is in present perfect, we have to change into past perfect. In present perfect, you know has or have. If it is plural, have will come. If it is singular, has. Now, let us see. Lata said, I have eaten an apple. Just a statement. Lata said, I refers to Lata. So, Lata said that she had eaten an apple. That is in that speech. Now, let us see, Govind said to Raj, we have constructed a building here, some changes are to be made here, where Govind said to Raj, who said Govind, said to, is it asking or telling, it is telling. So, said to will be changed to told, Govind told Raj that, Govind ro, uh, told Raj that, we, we refers to Govind and his members of family that they, we will be changing to third person plural, they had, they had constructed a building here, here will be changing to there, they had constructed, here will be changing to there, in that speech. Next, Leela said to Mohan, I have written my homework, Leela said to Mohan, told, it will be changing to told, Leela told Mohan that I refers to Leela. So, she have been into had, she had written, this is V3 does not change, she had written my, my means whose Leela's means her homework, homework. Next, teacher said to me, you have written a mistake in your notes, teacher said to me, told teacher said to be to told, told me that you refers to me. So, here what will be the subject part here? Teacher told me that I, I had written a mistake, that I had written a mistake in your notes means in whose notes? In my notes, in your change into my, in my notes. Okay? Now, 
the boy said to us i have spoken in english the boy said to us told the boy told us told us what did he tell he told us that i i refers to the boy that he in third person subject he it is changed to he that he had spoken in english next sita said to me i have had my lunch i have had this have is helping verb the another had is used as main verb here sita said to me sita told me told me that i i refers to sita that she subject here third person she that she had helping verb here this another had is used as a main verb had 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 my my means whose sita so her object her her lunch next they said we have invited our friends to dinner tonight they said that they said that we we refers to they so plural third person plural subject will become as a they only we will then they they said that they had invited our friends whose friends they their friends their friends to dinner to dinner tonight tonight is change to that night so in this way today in this video we have discussed sentences on simple present present continuous and present perfect i hope you have understood if you deem it useful please like it and subscribe and share it to your friends and kith and kin thank you all